Alright, welcome back. This is the night of day nine. I am actually starting in night time now. Uh, the sun is going down, the moon is going up. And uh, I'm starting at night because I uh, have a build plan today. And I want to um, utilize beds because I'm going to need as much daylight as I can get to get as much build done as possible without running too long of a uh, time on the video here. So I'm building a bed uh, for those of you that are not familiar. Uh, beds do allow you to bypass nighttime in the game. Uh, for that to work in multiplayer, though, you do need everyone on the server to go to bed at the same time. Obviously, because the game can't just make it daylight for one player and not for the rest. So, yeah, that's just how that works. Uh, however, uh, the bed does uh, create a spawn point while you use it. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of uh, cobblestone to build them to go later, but you see here I cleared out the area underneath the uh, the basement area here, and uh, five levels down, cleared out all the stone, and uh, actually cleared out behind the ladder, which is where I'm going to place my bed. You can see I have uh, a space for a new door. The bed um, does keep you safe at night once you sleep through it without avoiding the mobs. You don't actually sleep through the game, just transitions, but uh, and it's like instant daytime. Um, there is a block radius all around the bed, so that and the wall next to me keeps me safe from possible monster spawns. If there is darkness, not necessarily darkness, but even darkness from distance and mobs can run to it, within two blocks of where the bed's at, you'll get woken up and there'll be a monster in your bed, basically is uh, the way the game sees it, because, you know, you're too close to darkness or the potential for spawn near darkness, so that's why I always leave, you know, a one block distance between my bed and the walls. Um, I usually put a, uh, like a double block of logs to work as like, you know, a makeshift headboard behind the bed. I find it makes a very good use just to always make sure I'm offset that one extra block so that I prevent the spawns. Uh, of course, your house has to be closed, too. Like, if like your door's open, they'll, they'll get in. Uh, not always, but generally. Uh, the game's not, I don't think, perfect on that logic. But, uh, you can see here, I've cleared out all the sand and dirt that was outside. That's what I spent the other day and a half doing. The rest of the day seven when I ended on the other video. I dug out a trench of where I'm going to lay a foundation for the build I'm starting. So, now that I've killed off that creeper, and I guess I didn't have to kill the zombies, but I did anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start going. I uh, sort of came up with the map and the outline for this um, while I was clearing out the sand and dirt. I wasn't, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, I'm just building a base, like I said, a foundation layer uh, to work with for now. Um, I suppose this isn't entirely necessary at all. I mean, I just like the appeal of separating my lawn versus the wild around me. And so I'm, I'm doing that. I guess I'm a little uh, Minecraft anal when it comes to, uh, you know, setting up zone lines so there's a uh, direct... This is where I want it, and this is where it's going to be, kind of scenario. And uh, we're going to start from here. Or, or continue from here, I guess would be the better thing to say. And up we go. I've been uh, doing a lot of looking around the Minecraft forums the last couple days, looking at other people's designs and builds, and uh, a little higher. And, um,. And, you know, there's a lot of really great inspirational works out there. Like, some people just have, like, a really great knack for designing in the game. It's just, it's, it's, some, it's just really awe-inspiring, some of the things people do. I mean, I've done my best to make some giant builds over the years, or the years, <laughs> the year that I've owned the game now. 
And uh, at the beginning, of course, I made mediocre tiny stuff just like everybody else because I was getting into the game. Once I started uh, playing around and learning just exactly how far I could do things or what I could do with them, it, it really helped a lot. And uh, with understanding, I would say, I wouldn't want to call it design, but maybe flow, like the way the game construction can go from one set to another. And it does definitely improve the more you do it. Like, wait, I should count how high that other stack was so I can repeat it. Let's see. All right, ten high. Um, you know, it's like uh, it's just a learning process. Like I remember when I was younger, and uh, I got into origami, uh, which is you know fancy paper folding. If you're somehow not familiar with origami, it's, uh, I lost count. <laughs> um, and it's one of those things, like, it's so daunting to build unique, interesting things, like, with it. It was just like, how, how you kept looking at the pictures and like, how do you do that? How do you do that? I, I don't get it. But eventually, when you start to understand the way the folds work in the, in the paper and how certain looks are achieved, you just get this comprehensive knowledge that allows you to easily flow in from one thing to the other. And so that's just sort of the way it works in Minecraft too. Like the more you do it, I mean, the more things you build, the more the bigger your builds become, the greater your uh, understanding of the construction methods. Getting into the music. Um, I love this game. It's just like, it's pointless. I love how pointless it is. Like, you do nothing but build all day. <laughs> it gets, it gets kind of boring, and, uh, it'll be an interesting experience. Like I said, once uh, I finally get the, uh, the, uh, the server thing going, that'll be, uh, that'll be fun just to, uh, get out there and do different. Looking forward to different. Different and unique. Unique and special. And I don't mean in a special ed kind of way. <laughs> I got plenty of that already. So, one, two, one, two, go, 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 go. Uh oh. That missed a spot. There we go. Yeah, I was uh, debating uh, build, that's not build, um, inspiration. I was debating inspiration with uh, my future server admin earlier today, and he was uh, showing me a world that he liked, and uh, it was just our, it was, it was a normal, ordinary Minecraft world, but it was just clean, simple, does what a Minecraft world is supposed to do, it's a place to build. And it's like, I got a little upset with him, because like, I thought he was like trying to impose the idea that he wanted to use this as the server instead of something a little more unusual or fantastic, phantasmical, whatever, phantasmical, that's a word. Um, <laughs> so, but it's just, you know... I'm like urging him on, and I want him to use, like, I, I like Smilebox, the one I'm using here. Uh, there are others, there's lots of really, uh, I came across one earlier that was called uh, Soul Finger, and it was really cool looking. And I really wouldn't mind getting into that either, it's a really neat looking, very usable, usable, user, fun, interesting, just different. I mean, every Minecraft world has that. The rolling hills, the, the small stream, lakes, rivers, miniature seas kind of thing going for it. And it's it's very Earth-like. And, you know, I, I live on Earth. Earth is kind of boring. Well, not boring would be the right word. It's expected. It's familiar. And I like the unfamiliar. I like, you know, branching out. I like unusual 
God, that is a gorgeous island. I wish I'd built over there. Um, <laughs> I also came across a, a seed. Well, not a seed yet. It's a world. And I'm hoping to get the seed. Uh, I sent a message to a user on the uh, the forums. Uh, he posted an image of a world that had this, like, massively insane... Like, it's the biggest body of water I've ever seen in a Minecraft world. And it's, it's like, it's literally an ocean. And I would love to get the seed to it. And uh, hopefully that guy will share it with me. And then, uh, if I get a chance, I'll share it with everyone else here, too. Uh, but, because, uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that it's kind of neat to reach out and see an ocean. Like, there's so many small bodies of water in this game that are, you know, at most a hundred blocks across, you know, which is, which is still rather massive. I mean, it's not tiny, but it's not, you know, you look to one side and you can't possibly see the other side. You know, even on, you know, maximum view, there's just no way. I love that kind of feeling, because it just, it feeds that isolationist survival feeling that the game tries to inspire, I think. And, you know, when you have, especially if you're going to play a game with other people, that just, because then you could have, you know, actual continents, and each person could build on their own continent, and that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I like the, uh, the idea of branching out that kind of way, and just establishing civilizations, especially if you were to spend a long time away from each other and like then you finally go visit the other guy and not only is he established a civilization but he's you know got a completely different build style than you do like you know maybe you prefer you know slanted top homes or um, you know you like to build everything out of stone or he likes to build everything out of dirt or you know you find one of those people that like to build you know their own like um, tree houses and or people that build like directly on the edge of cliffs and the other people that build in valleys or the people that like to make you know desert uh, basins uh, basin, desert uh, oasis type towns so it'd be kind of interesting to like be way apart from another player and then just like travel to their city and see the kind of things they do I mean that's would give a real exploration feel to the game instead of it just being, you know, doing your Minecraft thing all the time. And uh, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna uh, shut all my doors here and jump back into bed, turn it back into daytime before the mobs swarm the house and I have to kill something else. And transition, alright, cool. Time to get back to work. Uh, oh, that's right, upstairs. Right. Added access. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still really, really looking forward to the idea. Uh, it should be a lot of fun to uh, just see how other people build. I mean, everyone can build their own home, their own little cottage, their own castle, whatever you want to build. But when you're building yourself, it's even when you're building something massive, it's still your thing. It's never our thing. It's never a group thing. And you don't get that that community. I mean, the, the community factor of playing with others can be such a profound thing. Like, I've been a uh, pretty avid uh, fan of the Final Fantasy XI MMO for hell, it's been five years now since I first started playing. And, um, only, I say, j only just now am I getting to the point where I think I might finally be done with it. And honestly, it's not because the game doesn't hold interest anymore. It's just, I think I've kind of outgrown its community. Like, it's not really my community anymore. I can't relate to the way things are. It might just be because I'm finally at a point in my own play where I relate on a different level now to the community. Like, I spent years and years and years, years and years is only five, uh, I spent four years playing before I even reached max level in the game. And uh, that's like extreme. Most people do it in, you know, six months to a year. Uh, I mean, once you get it down, you can do it in no time at all. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. 
just how fast you can level in, in an MMO sometimes. And um, once I got to the end, I kind of like fell into that what now kind of scenario. And the only thing that kept me going for a long time was the community. And now that I'm sort of without a community, it doesn't really work for me anymore because the community has changed. It wasn't the way it was when I first started playing five years ago. And I guess that's because the game changed, and it's probably because I changed too, and I just have different expectations now. And it's just, you know, everything changes, it adapts. Uh, life has changed. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's really friggin' annoying, like when you run out of wood mid-build, you have to go get more out of your chest. It's probably not even remotely related to changing life. Um, <laughs> yeah. I like change, honestly. Um, a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's horrible. I mean, people always freak out to change. It's just the way it works. Because it's new, it's different, and you get used to what you're used to. Uh, you always expect certain things to be certain ways. But uh, I've always found that I adapt rather well to change. I've never had an issue adapting. And I like that, personally, I like that I can adapt as well as I do most of the time. I mean, I still fight it as much as anyone else, but I give in and adapt because there's not really any choice in the matter. I mean, change is change, and it's going to happen. Uh, it's always shocking and sudden. Well, it seems sudden. Although I imagine very few changes are ever truly sudden. Uh, although the ones that are are the kind that like, hit you at 2 a.m., you weren't ever remotely expecting. It's like, oh, honey, I'm pregnant, or, you know, your father just died, or, you know, those kind of changes that you can't really see coming, usually. But uh, then there's a slew of... I need to just... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, right there should work. Jump. Hey, there we go. Right, there we go. Okay. I had to build one more layer in still. I am. Thank Check here in a minute. So, making how much this done. Should be around noon, I think. I really need to make a watch sometime, but it requires digging and getting gold. And I just I haven't even bothered to find a cave to go dig in yet. I've been so focused on pure building. Looks by the light in the sky. I think it's about noon. Uh, the music today is by an artist named Maf, or it might just be M-A-F. I'm not exactly certain. Um, I'm just playing two tracks over and over, back to back, that I found. It's uh, more chiptune, 8-bit music, like I had the other day during that long build. Um, I'm really a fan of chip music. It's one of my favorite styles, I would say. I don't know if it qualifies as a style, but I, I just enjoy the I don't know, I think I enjoy the simplicity of it. It's, 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 it's a very clean, simple sound, and it, the, the repetition and the alteration of the beats works for me. I get one of those carnal things. I, I don't know, I don't think carnal might even be I mean, the right term, but it's just, it's it maybe primal. Maybe primal. It doesn't sound very primal, but it, it kind of feels primal. All in my way. Okay. Let's clear out all the ones I don't need. I'm tired of looking at you. Okay. Uh, don't 
don't need you. Or you. There we go. And... Alrighty. That's all. Okay. A little bit of time left. I'm thinking I'm alright. Let's see here. I'm going to need some sticks. Uh, for that, I'm going to need wood. And there we go. It's a process. Uh, for those that haven't realized already, I am building more fences. Uh, it takes three stacks to make one stack of fences. Three stacks of sticks, I should say. Here we go. And away we go. I am going to put fences from the ceiling. I can't even see it here. Me, uh, back there to see. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do in the very corner uh, with the lanterns, uh, the lanterns, the torches. I may uh, build out. I haven't yet decided what I'm gonna do as it approaches the house. Uh, obviously, the house itself will have to be changed. It's um, Oh, alright, cool. Uh, got them all in. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that. Uh, I may replace the wood block they're on with another uh, cobblestone to make it look like the rest of it. Which is why I'm intentionally leaving the one next to the lamps in case I decide to put a, another fence there. And maybe rearrange things. I don't know. I'll just leave the dirt there for now and come back to it later. These other pieces, try to collect as much as I can back. Not that I really think I have too much of a need for dirt, but occasionally when I'm filling holes, I need it. That's about all it's good for, filling holes. Spaces. Some mobs don't spawn. Like anytime I'm mining down in the bottom and, uh, oop, it's going down. Let's see if I can. Anytime I'm like digging and like I encounter like an ore vein or a coal deposit or something, I'll um uh, I'll dig out and then put in dirt in its place just so I can keep a uniform shape to my mind and it allows me to like fill in that darkness that would have filled or shadowy area that formed from whenever I was digging out the mine. And that way you know we're mobs spawning in that darkness. Ugh. Oh, it's getting dark. I do not know how that will make it. I get it all done. A little more, a little more. I can do it. Push, push, push. So yeah, this is uh, what I've got. It's a platform, sort of. Uh, extended high up stuff. Uh, one more. Ooh, there goes the sunset. It's gonna get dark soon. So, yeah. Coming to the end of this day's build, or two-day build, I guess this makes it uh, the evening of day 11 now. So it will be day 12 tomorrow morning. Right. Okay. I guess that'll be it for this video. Uh, see you all later. Enjoy it. Bye.